good morning to all of you in the previous session we discussed the inverse jet transform facing one of the method that is Cauchy residue the uh, theorem or the inverse jet transform by contour integral okay, for identifying the inverse jet transform so in today's session we will be discussing the inverse jet transform by power series expansion so as discussed in previous session there are three methods that we will be discussing that is uh, for identifying inverse jet transform first one is direct evaluation by contour integration which is also referred as contour integral or complex inversion integral or Cauchy residue theorem so this method we have already seen in the previous session so today we will be discussing the inverse jet transform by power series expansion in which we will be expanding x of z into a series of terms in the variables z and z inverse so this method is simply referred as what power series expansion or long division method so the inverse z transform by power series expansion so this is one of the simplest method for identifying the inverse z transform so in this method the basic idea is simply if we have been provided with a transform x of z with its corresponding roc we can expand x of z into a power series so just for example given a z transform capital x of z with its ROC that is region of convergence we can expand <coughs> x of z into power series of the form so here this x of z simply can be represented as summation n is equals to minus infinity infinity there will be some constant coefficient multiplied by z to the power minus n okay. so basically this uh, power series will have the coefficients with which will be multiplied with the uh, negative powers or positive powers of z terms right so this particular x of z which will converge in the uh, given roc okay so this power series converges this power series converges in the given roc okay so as we know that uh, the formula for z transform is simply x of z is equals to summation n is equals to minus infinity to infinity x of n into z to the power n okay that is the formula for z transform and the given z transform we are representing by using this power series okay that is x of z is equals to n is equals to minus infinity to infinity cn z to the power minus n so if you compare this z trans uh, this power series with the formula of z transform then simply you can conclude that the x of n is equals to cn okay for all n right so simply x of n will be these coefficients right that is cn right so this uh, our series expansion 
you can perform by using the long division method right so when x of z when x of capital x of z is rational function the power series expansion or simply expansion can be performed by long division method so when identifying the inverse z transform by power series expansion what we will be doing so if we have been provided with this x of z as a as the rational function then by using long division method we will represent this x of z in this power series form right so this expansion can be obtained by using the long division method so x of z will be simply represented as the coefficient multiplied by some uh, z terms having positive or negative powers right so if you compare this power series with the standard formula for z transform then this x of n this x of n is nothing but these complete coefficients for all n okay, so this x of n will be simply cn right so in long division method depending on the roc the power series can be obtained as negative powers of z or positive powers of z so there will be two conditions in case of long division method if roc is exterior to circle we already seen this when roc is exterior to circle the signal is causal right is also called as what right sided signal correct so if roc is exterior to circle the signal is causal therefore we will try to obtain uh, the power series expansion in negative powers of z okay. therefore we seek a power series expansion in negative powers of z okay similarly the second condition if roc is interior to the circle so if roc is interior to circle the signal is which is called as what <coughs> the signal is uh, anti causal or non causal right the signal is anti causal or non causal correct so basically this uh, in case of non causal signal the signal will be simply a left sided signal right we already seen this in case of anti causal signal it can be a two sided signal right so if roc is interior to circle the signal is simply referred as anti causal or non causal so in this case thus we seek power series expansion
power series expansion in positive powers of z okay so how these expansions will be obtained okay to get the actual inverse rate transform by using long division method that we will be looking by solving one example okay so these con two conditions were to keep in mind while obtaining the inverse rate transform by power series expansion or the long division method right so in this example again you have to determine the inverse rate transform that means you have to determine x of n of this given x of z so there are two conditions given right when ROC is mod z greater than 1 and when ROC is mod z less than 0.5 so when ROC mod z is greater than 1 that means the ROC is exterior exterior to circle and in this case it is interior to circle as you can observe in the example it is not mentioned that uh, which method you have to use to identify the inverse z transform right so here you can use long division method because it is one of the simplest method okay this problem can also be solved by using the partial fraction expansion right again partial fraction expansion is also an easy method but uh, some people will find uh, the long division method simpler than the partial fraction expansion method okay. so here we will be using power series expansion method that is long division method for obtaining the noise transform so we'll initially obtain it for the first condition when ROC is exterior to circle right so in this case ROC mod z is greater than 1 okay since the ROC is exterior of a circle right? still to the circle we accept we expect x of n to be a causal signal right this right side signal okay. Therefore, we obtain a power series expansion in negative powers of z. Okay. So simply by dividing numerator of x of z numerator is 1 by its denominator so denominator is 1 minus 1.5 z inverse plus 0.5 z to the power minus 2 okay. so we can simply obtain the result of this division right so here We have this x of z, right? x of z is 1 upon is it 1 minus 1.5 z inverse, 1 minus 1.5 z inverse, and plus 0.5 to the power minus 2. So you can represent this uh, x of z as 1 upon 1 minus. 1.5 can be written as 3 by 2 z inverse plus 0.5 can be written as 1 by 2 z to the power minus 2 okay. yeah. and even you can keep this as it is for simplification purpose you can modify or represent this as 1 minus 3 by 2 z inverse plus 1 by 2 z to the power minus 2 so as per long division method we will be simply performing this division where we will be dividing numerator by denominator right simply uh, we are doing the division that is 
this will be simply numerator is 1 denominator is so that 1 minus 3 by 2 z inverse plus 1 by 2 z to the power minus 2 okay. so first as we to eliminate this one so we'll be simply multiplying it with 1 so here we'll be obtaining first as first term we want to eliminate this one so we'll be simply multiplying this denominator with 1 so we'll get 1 multiplied by this complete term will be 1 minus 3 by 2 z inverse plus 1 by 2 z to the power minus 2 then we will be subtracting it so what will get 1 minus 1 will be 0 right this will be minus minus plus so it will be 3 by 2 z to the power minus 1 and this will be minus 1 by 2 z to the power minus 2 right the second term that we have to eliminate is 3 by 2 z inverse so again we will multiply it with 3 by 2 z inverse okay so 3 by 2 z inverse if you observe here so we are getting the negative powers of z here right so if i multiply this 3 by 2 z inverse so i will get this as 3 by 2 z inverse right this plus minus will be minus so minus it will be 9 by 4 z to the power minus 2 okay. so minus 9 by 4 z to the power minus 2 right and again plus 3 by 4 z to the power minus 3 plus 3 by 4 z to the power minus 3 so you have to continue this division until you doesn't get the uh, remainder as 0 or at least to the to 4 or 5 terms in the numerator that is in the quotient not in numerator so if I'm subtracting it, so this 3 by 2 z inverse, 3 by 2 z inverse will be 0, right? So it will be again 0. Then uh, this minus minus will be plus to 9 by 4 minus 1 by 2. Okay, will be what? 7 by 4. 7 by 4 z to the power minus 2. This minus plus will be minus 3 by 4 z to the power minus 3 right so again i will multiply it with 7 by 4 z to the power minus 2 so it will be 7 by 4 7 by 4 z to the power minus 2 so if i multiply 7 by 4 z to the power minus 2 here so i will get again 7 by 4 z to the power minus 2 right this again plus minus will be minus so it will be 21 by 8 right this multiplication will be minus 21 by 8 z to the power minus 3 right. This 1 by 2 multiplied by 7 by 4 will be 7 by 8 z to the power minus 4 plus 7 by 8 z to the power minus 4. Okay. So I will write this subtraction result on the next slide. Right. So what will we have directly right here? So in the region 1 minus 3 by 2 z to the power minus 1 plus 1 by 2 z to the power minus 2. We have to continue here but as there is no space so I am writing it on the next slide. So we have this question 1 plus 3 by 2 z inverse. So 1 plus 3 by 2 z inverse plus 7 by 4 z to the power minus 2. Right. Well, here the previous terms are as it is there. Right. So I am directly writing the last subtraction here. Right. So the 7 by 4, 7 by 4 z to the power minus 2 will be 0. Right. 
minus 21 by 8 minus 3 by 4 so this minus minus will be plus so after subtracting it will I, uh, these two terms i will get uh, 15 by 8 right if i'm subtracting these two terms i will get 15 by 8 so it will be 15 by 8 you get z to the power z to the power minus 3 right? z to the power minus 3 and here this minus plus will be minus minus 7 by 8 minus 7 by 8 z to the power minus 4 okay. so again I, I took mean this 15 by 8 z to the power minus 3 so again I will multiply 15 by 8 z to the power minus 3 with this complete term so it will be 15 by 8 z to the power minus 3 this plus minus will be minus right? minus 15 multi 15 by 8 multiplied this this 3 by 2 so it will be 45 by 16 right? uh, multiplied by z to the power minus 4 right and then again plus this 15 by 16 z to the power minus 5 right? so again if i'm subtracting this so this would be 0 7 by 8 minus 45 by 16 will be simply 30 this minus minus will be plus so 45 by 16 minus 7 by 8 will be there so it will be 31 by 16 z to the power minus 4 and this will be minus 15 by 16 z to the power minus 5 so again i will multiply it with 31 by 16 okay. to the power minus 4 so I got these 5 terms here so and so on so you can keep this division up to this point if you are multiplying this 31 by 16 to the power minus 4 then it will be again 31 by 16 to the power minus 4 right then multiplied by this minus 93 right? by 32 z to the power minus 5 right? plus 31 by 32 z to the power minus 6 right? so that will be the you can say that up to this point you can Anybody else. If you perform in this subtraction, so you can specify the remainder here. Right? So, what quotient I have is, uh, obtained after this division? So, that is nothing but the representation of x of z because I am simply doing this division operation. Okay, so instead of representing this x of z as this rational function that is comprising numerator and denominator, now x of z is simply this series okay or this expansion that is 1 plus 3 by 2 z inverse right plus 7 by 4 z to the power minus 2 right plus 15 by 8 z to the power minus 3 plus 31 by 16 z to the power minus 4 and so on right so therefore x of n so by comparing this x of z with the actual formula of x of z that is it x of z is a summation and is used to minus infinity infinity x of n into z to the power minus n okay so we can simply get its coefficient to obtain the x of n okay? so by comparing we obtain here the x of n as like it as there is no z in multiplication with the first term z is z to the power 0 right so this is nothing but the sample at origin it is 1 second will be at n is equals to 1 right it is 3 by 2 at n is equals to 2 it is 7 by 4 then 15 by 8 then 31 by 16 and so on 
so if you observe here so you are simply writing these coefficients right and this is a right sided signal that is nothing but the causal signal so this is the required inverse transform of the given x offset okay similarly in the second condition it is the second condition the roc is modulated less than 0.5 so it is interior to the circuit okay so roc mod z is less than 0.5 okay in this case roc is interior to circle the signal x of n is non causal or you can say not anti causal right so to obtain Our series expansion in positive power subset. Previously, we have obtained. Now when ROC was exterior to circle, so we obtain the power series expansion in negative power subset. Right? So we have performed this division as it is. Right? But here we want this power series expansion in the positive power subset. Right? So we perform long division. And the following way. Okay. So how it will be performed? So again, the numerator is same. That is one, correct. But denominator is one minus three by two z inverse plus one by two z to the power minus two, right? So we are taking and as it is in the previous case, but now we will take it in the first order. That is one by two z to the power one minus two, minus three by two z inverse plus one. Okay, so this can be written as two by one by two z to the power minus two minus three by two z inverse plus one. Okay, so we are simply writing it in the first order because we are we require these powers in the positive power offset. Right. So to get one here, so I have to multiply this complete term with two z squares. Okay. So if I am multiplying it two z squares, so this two two will get cancelled. So it will be one z to the power minus two. Sorry, two z square should be one. Okay. So z to z square multiplied by z to the power minus two will be z to the power zero. So it will be simply one. Okay. So first term will come to one. If I'm multiplying it with minus three by two two z squared, so it will be minus three z right plus two z squared right. So if I'm performing this subtraction, so it will be three z minus three z minus two z squared right. So now I want three z here. Okay, so I will be multiplying it with six z cube. Okay, so if I am multiplying it with six z Cube, right? So it will be six by two, so it will be three, right? And it will be z raised to power minus two multiplied by z cube will be z simply, right? So I'll get three z here, right? Three z, then I'll get six uh, z cube minus three by two z inverse will be simply. Nine z square. Okay, so it will be minus. Okay, minus plus will be minus nine z square. Then this plus six z cube will be as it is. Okay, so I'm performing the subtraction, so I'll get this will be zero, right? 
So this minus minus will be plus. So it will be nine z square minus two z square. So it will be seven z square eight minus six z cube will be there. All right. So again to get this seven z square, I have to multiply it with fourteen. Try to multiply it with uh, 14 z to the power 4. Right? So I multiply it with 14 z to the power 4. So if I multiply it with 14 z to the power 4, so I will get 7 z square. Right? So 7 z square. Right? And again, minus 3 by 2 multiplied by 14 will be simply. 21 okay so it will be minus 21 z cube correct and plus 14 z to the power 4 okay. so again if i'm performing this subtraction so this will be 0 this minus minus will be plus so 15 z cube will be there right so minus 14 z to the power 4 will be there you need to get 15 z cube i have to multiply it with multiply this 1 by 2 z to the power minus 2 with 30 z to the power 5 right so 30 z to the power 5 so i'm only 30 z to the power 5 so i'll get 15 z cube here right then minus 3 by 2 multiplied by 30 will be minus 45 z to the power 4 and this 30 z to the power 5 multiply by minus will be 30 z to the power 5 right so again in this subtraction i will get this as what minus minus plus will be there so it will be 31 z to the power 4 right minus 30 z to the power 5 correct okay. so then to get this 31 z to the power 4 I have to multiply it with what 62 z to the power 6 62 z to the power 6 so again I got 5 times so I will just stop here right so again 62 z to the power 6 if I multiply it with this term so it will be simply 31 z to the power 4 right this multiplication will be minus 3 by 2 multiplied by 62 right so z to the power 5 and again plus 62 z to the power 6 will be there right okay so in this case we represented this x of z as positive powers of z series or expansion right so it will be 2z square plus 6z cube plus 14z to the power 4 plus 30z to the power 5 plus 62z to the power 6 plus and so on right so again we have to write down the coefficients here right so to obtain x of n so x of n in this case will be simply these coefficients right but how it will be written so is a left sided signal okay you can observe that here the value of n is minus 2 correct because we are saying that that uh, power series were represented as summation n is equals to minus infinity to infinity cn into z to the power minus n okay so here the value is z to the power minus n so this is the value of n here is 2 sorry minus 2 it is minus 3 it is minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 so this is sample at minus 2 the so sample at minus 2 that means it will be on negative side right so this will be coefficient will be 2 then at minus 3 it is 6 at minus 4 it is 14 at minus 5 it is 30 at minus 6 it is 62 and so on right so at minus 2 it is 2 so minus 1 it is 0 at origin also it is 0 right 
so this is nothing but the origin and you can observe here it is a left sided signal right it is a non causal signal correct so this is how you are obtaining the energy transform by using the power series expansion or long division method okay depending on whether the roc is exterior to circle or interior to circle right so if it is exterior to circle so you will be obtaining this expansion in negative power source set right so once you get this expansion in negative power source set this is nothing but your x offset and you will be simply writing the, the coefficient of that x offset as the original discrete time signal that is x of n okay this is nothing but the inverse transform of x offset okay so when it is interior to circle you will seek for the positive power source set okay so again after obtaining this quotient here right you will be again writing this x of z as this power series expansion okay and you will be writing their coefficient as x of n again right so it is left sided signal here when it is causal so it is right sided signal so in next session we will be discussing the inverse z transform by using partial fraction expansion Thank you for joining this session.